All right, I found this bling chain type stuff. It's plastic, but it's like, it looks like bling. And it's red, but it's not like a bright red. It's like a pink red. I don't know, but I like it. I think it looks nice, and I'm putting it on. So I'm going to put it along the top of this lace. And I'm going to put it at the top of her collar. So and then I'm filming Matt. I'm filming. And then I will put the uh the vine and I think It'll just be excellent. Okay, I need to, uh, there's a little blob there. And a blob, all right, good. I like this though. It's Aileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. Wow, I think I'm excited. This is so fun. I just haven't done it in so long. I don't want my hair in the, my head in the way, but I have to look. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna put that heart right there. I think I am. And I'm also going to put this like that, I think. Um, and put the roses. Let me just, I haven't decided on the roses yet. What color? I kind of like this. What colors do I have? I have so many colors. I think I need to do a pink. But do I want it to be really pink or just, no, I think I want it to be this pink. I think this. Okay. So I'm going to, see, I could, I could put this overlapping, like, this is going to be a bit difficult. I kind of like it overlapping like that. But then the roses... I have to, and here's another thing. I'm going to take the stems off the roses. You could make a bundle. Let's see. I mean, I've, I've made different little, like, mm, do I have one? Like, look, I'll show you. Um, I think, yeah, I remembered this. This little, um, I don't know what you'd call it. But I kind of made, like, I stuck the uh, buds in there like I made a, a spray out of it almost or and see how you can curl the little stems and make them look like spriggles so anyway um, I've done it a lot I've worked with these little things and then I actually put these little pearlescent um, I don't even know what they're called they're like little teardrop pearlescent things like they just everything Anything sparkly you could put. Like, I could just put blings. But I think just for now, I'm going to keep it simple. The other thing is, I have, like, a bigger flower. Maybe just put bigger. Oh, I'm going to keep it the little ones. Um, or I could just do white. That would look so... All right, I have to decide. I'll be back. All right, I think I'm going to go with these roses. I'm going to use the tacky glue gonna make a like a bead going down along that uh, lace I'm gonna take my stem of here and I'm gonna use like something to kind of place it and just keep putting the stem in that bead of glue And it's slippery, it's moving. I'm gonna pull it back, but it is slippery. I'm just gonna make sure it's pushed down into the glue. And I'll cut it. And then 
I'm going to try and get these to sit. Let me see if I have my tweezers out here somewhere. Here they are. Mm, I have two-tone. Let me come in a little more. Um, these are kind of like two-tone. I have this. These two are both two-tone. This one's just cream or white. And this is the soft, soft pink. But I don't know if I want to do a mixture or if I just want to go pink. This, this isn't going to work, I guess. And this isn't really looking anything like I thought it was going to look. But it looks cute. doesn't look that bad. So I have... I think I might use... I might need to just do it all one color. I don't know, guys. I just think of it as I go. Whatever looks... I think that looks so amazing. Alright, so I'm going to come up. And I think that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to do that. I could start closer to the end. Like space them out a little better. But I think that's what I'm doing. That's it. I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to use my fingers, my big clumsy fingers, and hope for the best. Put a nice blobble on it and just stick it kind of up against the... I can't use words tonight, sorry. I'm just going to evenly space them and hope for the best. Because I don't have a flat bottom. They're definitely dimensional. So I'm just using a, a globulet, a globulet of glue, a glue glob. I've never made one that had so much, like, dimensional stuff on it. So now what I was thinking was I need to find my bling like I have crystals. Like, a, I think I want to put a heart-shaped crystal there. And then there's really nothing in the middle. I was thinking I could put a heart, right? Remember I had covered these hearts. Well, I, I think I did a different video and I didn't um, end up keeping it. Yeah, but I had covered these wooden hearts with paper too. And I was going to put a couple hearts, but I think it's getting a little crazy. Maybe I will just let it sit for a minute. I'll let this dry, but that looks cute as it is. That just looks really super cute. And then I'm going to get to pick beads that'll play. All right, so let me set this aside. I'll let it dry, and I will let you know how the glue globs do. But I think that looks great. I think it looks adorable, especially just that little bottom part. Um, so I'll come back up. I'm going to set this aside to dry and let me, let me bring this one back into the shot. So um, I also have to put my little um, connectors, my eye pins in there too, but I'm going to let it have a chance to dry. So this one I just Mod Podge. I just wanted to show you how I finished the sides. If you so choose, you can paint it. You can, I've been using, I'm just getting a piece of sandpaper. Um, I've been using my gold leafing pen a lot, which right here, this is a gold leafing pen. This is by Krylon. Um, and you can just, like on the sides of any, I don't know if I have any on my desk, little pins. Um, I just go around the edge with the gold leafing pen. It really looks nice. I can tell how this paper isn't covering a little bit of the wood. So, what you want to do is, there's some paper on the sides, and I could just cut it. See how it's folding over? But I'm just going to take it 
and pull it across the sandpaper. I think I'm going to get a little bit of a rougher, um, maybe I'm due for some new sandpaper. A little bit of a rougher grit and it'll just like tear it off the edge and it gives it like a, a little bit of a a, a rough uh, what am I trying to say I don't have words you guys my words aren't coming um, uh, maybe it's called I know what it's called um, distressed thank you anywho so I'm just going along the edge of the paper pulling in the opposite direction like don't pull the paper off and just rough up the edge and you'll get that little edge of the paper to be right exactly on the edge of the wood and then I'll show you how I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use some if I I'm pretty sure I should have some ink that still works in my stash I just haven't used it in so long and uh, see look see the paper it just comes off it's kind of fun I like it and then everything just kind of gets organized like this And there we go. It, look, it doesn't really look distressed, but it looks, what I'm going to do next might make it look distressed if I can find my ink. So this is so pretty. OMG. It's so pretty. I'm going to enjoy making this one too. I have no idea what I'm going to put on this one. Um, but maybe I will go with gold. Um, all right. So I'm going to grab some ink. So let me move these girls out of the way. Um, I'm going to use, ooh, distressing, right? Isn't that what I should, yes. I think I want to use black. I haven't used these, look, a brand new one. I haven't, I mean, I could use the pink. Pickled raspberry. Ooh, I'm going to open it. I'm going to see what it looks like. And I'm going to use it on the edge. I was going to use black, but heck, why not? It's it's raspberry. It's wet. Um, I mean, it might not be um, like contrasty enough, but I think it should work. I have the little doodahs that you use. See these? Look, I haven't used this in so long. I have a brand new pad, a foam applicator. I'll just pull this off and put this one on. And let's see what it's going to look like. This is called Pickled Raspberry. We're going to load up. Eh, that's not loading. And then you just take it and go along the edges and it'll pick up on the paper. I like it. I think it looks amazing. Like, I think it looks great. I'm gonna do it on this side. Uh-oh, got it a little too, got a little too crazy, Sarah. The thing about the stress ink is it's not per permanent. So I can just take a baby wipe and really wipe it off if I want. But I'm just going to go along the edge and kind of, I got a little crazy on some of it. There, that looks great. I like it. I think it looks good. And it kind of like, I hit the, let me see my other one. Should I put some on here? I should have done it before. Because there's places where the wood, uh-oh. I'm gonna wait for these to dry, Sarah. All right, I'm just gonna let it sit. I can't muck with it now. Um, 
I love it though. This is so cute. OMG. I just get excited, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. So let that dry. Um, all right, so that's good. Then I think I might want to, because the brown would have looked so good too, but I think I want to emboss this. I think I'm going to use gold. Ooh, I wonder if I have some color like that, like a rose gold. Let's see. Um, I can't find anything because I haven't used it in so long. But I'm looking for embossing powder. So I doubt I have anything bronze. I have gold. This is just gold, which would look gorge. Look at this. This is the Tim Holtz vintage photo. That looks a little more bronzy. It has an orangey look to it. Ooh, what is this? Gold. Oh, I might have something like this. The bigger ones, whatever they're called. This is ultra thick, right? I think I have platinum. I have platinum, but I this isn't platinum. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Distress glitter. That's not the same thing. And wait, I'm almost. Uh, this is just ultra thick clear. And that's it. That's it. Um, I have red, silver, glitter, black. Oh, wow. Sparkling black. I think I'm going to do black, and I'm going to play with, um, yeah, yes, 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 um, because, oh, I have white, but because if I do black, then I can play with the black lace, like I could put some black lace, I have a couple different black, I haven't really done that before, um, so, what am I going to do? This is platinum. I'm going to do the black. I just hope it's still good. Um, the distress could be really good with this, though. Shake well. I think it could look good, but I think I'm going with the black. I don't even know if I'm still recording. <laughs> All right, so I need a piece of paper. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why that song is stuck in my head. Um, I don't know where I have like a piece of paper. Here we go. So what you want to do is get your embossing ink. And I did have some embossing ink. Where did that go? Versa mark. And what I'm going to do is go like, I'm just going to dip it right on the pad. Close the pad. I'll just shake this a little bit. And then open it. Oh boy. See, it looks really, um, oh crap. <laughs> that scared me. Sorry. You know what I might just do is lay it down. And which side did I do? And do that. You can always do another layer. So. I'm going to do this. So I have my embossing tool. It's like a very hot blow dryery like thing. And I'm going to just hold it off camera a little bit. I like to let it get hot first and then put it into the, and then hit it. And you can kind of watch it melt. I'm going to move my hand. Wow, 
It is gorge. Look at that. I'm going to do it on the rest of it. Let me cover it. That was so dumb. I did, I left that cover off. Where the heck is it? Oh my gosh. You know why? Because I could have just blow dried it by accident and poof, it would have all been everywhere. Um, I can't find it. The lid. I'm such a spaz. It's because there's so much stuff on my desk. I'm very unorganized tonight. I don't, I just, it's probably right in front of my face, but I don't say it. So I'm just going to take my ink again, oh excuse me, my ink, and I'm just going to dip, 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 and then dip, 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 dip. All right, I'll be back when this is all embossed. All right, just so you know, this is something called Embossing Powder Black Sparkle by Ranger. So if you want to get it, I think it turned out gorgeous. It is very sparkly. I don't think the camera is really showing it, but... It kind of does come over the edge, so I really didn't need to do that um, in the um, that raspberry color pink. But anyway, um, going to end the video at embellishing. So you're going to go to town. You're going to pull all you can. Like I just found some bling right here. Let me show you. I'm gonna. I could leave it double, but I'm looking for another piece of lace that I think I'm going to do a very similar. Like, I'm going to do it like this, but I think I have it in black, or I might have it in pink. I know I have it in other colors. Like, I even just have, like, a plain lace like that, and then I could put a piece of the bling on top. So, I'm going to keep playing, but I'm going to turn off the camera when I come back. And look at this. I'm sorry. I just, I get it. I get very distracted by shiny things. <laughs> but look at, look at OMG. There's little black strands in here, and it just looks delightful. So, um, yeah, I mean, I have gold. I just found these little tiny spare parts. That's definitely the paper studio. This is um, Hobby Lobby, but little tiny flowers. I think I've put these in their hair, like right here. I put two of the red ones in her hair um, to kind of be like Christmassy. Um, so I am going to come back in the next video and we're going to make the heads. So we're going to be putting the faces on. Let me see if I can find one. Where are you, little head? Um, you're going to need... Can't find them. My, my desk is totally covered. You're going to need felt. So I have this little... I had previously cut... Um, here, here she is. I had painted her already and I cut this felt for her little hairdo and I'm going to show you how we attach the halo and so you're going to need um, pipe cleaners and I found these today at Michael's. I really think this one's going to look nice on this one because it's got it kind of plays in with this iridescence it's got it looks kind of like snow um, it's, it's a little thicker than, like here's a silver one of a regular pipe cleaner. Definitely thicker. So I don't know, if it doesn't look right, I'll switch it. But I'm thinking I'm going to use that. We're going to make a halo. And then we're going to attach it to the back of the head before we put the hair on. And then we'll cover that up with the felt for the hair. So here's what the, the halo kind of gets attached underneath the felt so that it, it doesn't really show. Um, we're going to do that and I don't know how long that'll take because I'll paint the face with you. We'll put the, ha the hair on and all that. That'll just be its own video and then we'll make the, the limbs. We'll make some hands and um, some arms and legs. I mean not hands, arms and legs. And I put Bell's little hands on these. I was thinking of finding charms like 
anyway there's so much you can do guys let your creativity go wild and thank you for watching i love you i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching